What is up guys and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with me, The Real Deal. So today we are going to be looking at Blessings and they've done an update in the game. So you can now see uh, the Altar of Souls which is where you'll be able to you know, collect your souls and then start putting Blessings on Champions. Um, I reckon we'll be able to start farming any day now and they like to do things on a Thursday. So my prediction is that Thursday the 8th of September 2022 is when we're about to start farming these blessings. So any day now. Um, and originally I did have like a negative opinion on this. But now that I've sort of looked at them. Um, I do feel that this is actually going to really shake the meta for Arena. Um, and it's going to make things more interesting. So actually I'm hoping it's going to be really positive and really fun. So yeah look at you know I'm actually pumped for this now. So I've completely done a, a 360 and I'm like yes this is good. This is going to be good for the game. So I'm actually quite excited now. So, blessings. Um, you should be able to see them on champions as well. So, click on a champion, go to skills, and you can see that they can have blessings. So, your champions only allowed one blessing. Um, you can see we've only got one star at the moment. So, what happens is you'll farm these uh, souls, and um, you have to get them for specific champions, which is a bit frustrating. Um, so, you can't just farm it like the Minotaur. Um, you do have to sort of collect them for specific champions. But um, when you sort of six star them, so basically your champions, is almost like ascensions. So you can ascend the champions obviously six times. So you go from yellow stars to purple stars. And now the new thing will be red stars. Um, and basically um, your blessings, you can only have one at the moment. Um, but you sort of get them to six. And when you get them to six stars, that means your champion's blessing is going to be more powerful. And be able to have like more chances to do things, etc, etc. Um, and the other thing is that. Um, at the moment, it's only going to be one blessing, but I can definitely see in the future them increasing it to two or potentially even three. Um, but that's probably going to be way, way further down the line. So let's not worry about that. And yeah, so what I want to do is um, have a look at the blessings. Uh, we're going to start with the legendary ones first, then epics and then rares. And uh, yeah, just talk about who I think they'll be useful on and what impact they'll have on the game and meta. So first up, we're going to have a look at the Chaos Legendary um, blessings. So we've got Brimstone. Um, I imagine this will be really good for Hydra and Clan Boss. I don't think it's going to be that great for Arena. Um, so basically what will happen is we put out a Smite debuff on the enemy um, and then basically um, when they use an active skill um, a Meteorite will hit them and this does 25% of their max HP to them. So I imagine it's going to be really good for like I said for Clan Boss and Hydra. I just don't see it doing a lot of damage in Arena. And then what happen is um, the rest of the team will have um, damage done to them equal to 5% of their max HP. So that's why I think it's going to be really good for Hydra. Um, only one Smite debuff can be active per team. It cannot be removed, blocked, resisted or transferred. Um, Polymorph I think is really interesting. Um, definitely reminds me of World of Warcraft if you've ever played Mage. And um, what happens with this one... It basically places a sheep debuff on enemies for two turns whenever they place a debuff on this champion um, or removes or steal buffs from them. This debuff cannot be blocked, resisted, and it cannot be placed on bosses. Um, whenever a sheep debuff expires or the sheep is defeated, the affected champion will return to the battle with 50% HP. So I don't think this is going to absolutely break the meta, but I definitely think it's going to be interesting. I think it will pair up really nicely with Stone Skin. Um, but for example, um, anyone that throws out any debuffs on you, so like Prince Kaimar, there's a very good chance you'd, sh um, you know, sheep him or polymorph him. Um, anyone that's thrown out debuffs like your Madams, um, you know, like uh, AoE decrease uh, defense, that will probably polymorph them. The only problem is though, uh, most snookers that you're going to be using aren't going to be throwing out debuffs. So they'll still be going strong and they'll still be doing damage. Um, so it may not be that useful, but you know, we have to play with it and see what works. So I think it is going to bring like a really interesting dynamic to the game. So fingers crossed on that one. Um, life Harvest. Uh, so these are the war blessings. Uh, so Life Harvest destroys a portion of revived enemies max HP whenever they are revived. Um, this is going to be absolutely trash for Arena. I can't see it being used for at all. Um, so yeah, not and you know and having your um, champions HP 
turn meter boosted. It's okay, it's not gonna be amazing. And there may be like elements of uh, PVE that this might be useful in, but for arena, just trash. Um, you know, enemy max HP, like destroying enemies max HP. It's never had a, pay a place in the arena and it just takes too long. It's not gonna be useful at all. Um, Soul Reaper sounds really interesting. So what will happen is when this champion hits an enemy target and decreases their HP to a certain threshold, a Reaper will appear and deal extra damage equal to the enemy's, uh, sorry, the target's remaining HP. For AoE attacks, each target has their HP reduced to the threshold in the attack, will be visited by a Reaper. The Reaper will ignore defense, which is really nice, um, and as well, um, all damage reducing skills, effects, and buffs. So strengthen, um, Duchess's passive that reduces AoE damage, um, that's not going to make any difference. So the Reaper's still going to hit really hard. Um, so yeah, I'm, you know, it's really hard. I could This one could go either way. It could either be really, really good for Arena, or it might just be mediocre. It's really hard because you don't know what the numbers are like, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, if the target survives, has a chance of placing True Fear debuffs for one turn. So that's really nice. Obviously, True Fear is one of the most annoying debuffs, especially for Arena, because um, it can just completely waste your cooldowns. So yeah, can be very frustrating. The this is this this one right here, um, Intimidating Presence. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing for the Arena. I think it's going to be essential on anyone that's got a speed aura like your Arbiter, Prince Kaimar. Um, so basically what it does is it's going to um, increase your Arbiter's um, speed aura. And and if the enemy team don't have this, then it's going to push down their speed aura. So you've got more chance of going first. Um, so I think this is really going to be part of the meta, especially for speed, for the speed meta. This is going to be absolutely essential. And yeah, it's, it's just going to, your Arbiter will be an absolute beast if you manage to get this. So Lightning Cage. Whenever an enemy receives a buff or has their turn meter filled, places one lightning orb stack on this champion. When an active lightning orb stack roundly protects one other active buff from being removed, stolen or transferred, after activation, the lightning orb stack will disappear. A champion can have a maximum of three lightning orb stacks at one time. A champion with three lightning orb stacks with, uh, sorry, stack hits enemy targets, inflicts bonus damage based on their their max HP. Bonus damage can occur, sorry, occur, okay, okay. Bonus damage, bonus damage can happen on each hit of a skill, but does not count as an extra hit. After the bonus damage is applied, um, all act, lightning active stacks are removed from this champion. So I just want to read it again, just to make sure that I understand it. When active lightning school, uh, sorry, lightning orb stacks randomly protects one active buff from being removed. So basically, um, I don't know if this one's going to be a, that amazing. Um, it might be useful on champions that cut in. Like, um, I really think this can be really good on like Valkyrie. Um, so it can protect um, her counter attack from being stolen and her shield. However, um, I don't think it's going to go across the whole team. So it may not be that great. So going to have to see on that one. But it is, it is quite interesting. Um, so these are the Dark Blessings. So first up we've got um, Temporal Chains. So um, decreases uh, each, sorry, decreases each enemy speed for active buffs they are under. So this is going to really help people cut in um, on Arbiter teams. So, you know, their Arbiter speed boosts, um, then you know, we're going to sort of slow down the enemy's team um, speed. So there's a good chance for us to cut in. Um, so I imagine this might be quite good luck on a Master Yoshi. Or, or actually any champion that can cut in. I like Lady Kimi is really good for that as well. So yeah, on those sort of champions, um, that's going to really help you. And it's got a four, t uh, four turn cooldown. Whenever an enemy receives a third act... Sorry. So I think that happens all the time. But then we've got whenever an enemy receives a third active buff instantly decreases the of all enemies by a certain amount and that's on a four turn cooldown so i think that is this is like top notch um yeah s tier blessing right there definitely worth getting uh ward of the fallen 
starts each round with a number of broken bone armor stacks. Each bone armor stack decreases the damage the recipient receives from a single hit, then disappears. A champion can have a maximum of three bones armor stacks at one time. Deals bone sorry, and then it's got like a bonus part as well. Deals bonus damage to each enemy hit by this champion. The number of times uh, bonus damage is inflicted on an enemy target is equal to the number of dead allies. Bonus damage is proportional to this enemy's attack. Adds one bone armor stack for each instance of bone damage inflicted. Bonus damage will not be inflicted when damaging enemies through masteries, passive skills, reflect damage, poison, or HP debuffs. So I think this is going to be really good on really tanky champions. Um, having like basically you're going to sort of have chance. It's going to like give you more chance to survive. I think it'd be really good on um, anyone's like if you put a champion that's got bulwark on them or in a guardian set. So they're absorbing all that damage and you're reducing damage you receive. Um, Ward of the Fallen, I think, yeah, will be really good on those sort of champions. So let's go back to uh, Divinity and now have a look at the epic uh, blessings um so yeah so just to reiterate as well legendary blessings can only be put on legendary champions legendary champions can have any blessings they can have legendary epic or rare um otherwise um epic champions can only go up to rare and rare champions can only have rare so crushing rend each round, a number of this champion's hits will ignore a percentage of the target's defense. Wow. So this is almost like another Helm Smasher. So obviously this can be great on um, Nukas like your Trundas, um, Constantine and all those uh, Leores, of course, as well. Um, the percentage of the um, ignored defense depends on the level of the target. Um, has a bonus effect each, sorry, every hit this champion inflicts will ignore a percentage of the target's defense. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think it's just repeating the same thing there. I don't really understand that, but okay. But yeah, I think that is going to be another like S tier blessing. I think that's going to be amazing. Um, incarcerate increases the damage inflicted by HP burn debuffs placed by this champion in the arena. Whenever a HP burn debuff placed by a champion inflicts damage, on an enemy their max hp will also be destroyed by the same amount only works in arena battle so i think this is where they're trying to get hp burn champions into the meta the problem with that is though is that hp champions they require so much setup so basically obviously you need a speed lead like you need an arbiter to make sure that you go first and then you're going to need like a madame to strip any like debuffs or um you know anything that's going to block your hp burn so you're going to need to strip that first and then you're going to need to have loads of accuracy to land your hp burns because you know if they've got high resistance it's going to be no good so it is difficult and you know if you've got loads of accuracy then you lose out on your crit damage and your attack so you're not going to hit as hard so i really think that's kind of pointless really um they may buff it or do something but Initially, I think this could be absolutely trash and just not worth your time at all. Um, so, um, war epic blessings. So we've got Chainbreaker. At the start of the this champion's turn, has a chance of removing any fear, free, sleep, provoke, fear, true fear, or petrification. Basically, any chance to remove CC. Only activates if this champion is under one of these debuffs and it's on a three turn cooldown. Whenever this champion is hit by an enemy while under one of these debuffs mentioned above, has a chance of partially filling this champion's turn meter as well. So that's really cool. That's really useful. Um, it's a bit like that mastery. So um, in the um, defensive tree. Um, so yeah, really cool mastery. I think that's going to be really cool, really useful. Great for revivers, great for tanky champions as well. Uh, command presence strengthens your team's aura. If multiple champ, okay. So the basic this is a weaker version of the um, light divinity. Um, it's still, I think, really good, but it's not going to be absolutely amazing. It's obviously for people that are probably like more mid game, so they can get involved as well. So on your higher cartoons, skull crown, and all those sort of champions. Um, yeah, but not 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 amazing, but still pretty good. 
um, light divinity, uh, sorry, divinity of light blessings. So we got uh, heaven cast. Debuffs placed by this champion's default skills will ignore a percentage of the target's resistance. So that's really cool. Um, so debuff placed by this champion default. So it's only default skills though. So um, you're really going to have to have like a look at what champions are uh, can I use on their A1. Um, and it and it only percentage. So it depends how much resistance it ignores, I guess, as well. But for example, Rotos, it might be useful on because he has, um, what's it? He has decrease, um, um, what's it? decrease defense on his A1. So that might be really useful. There's other champions, I'm sure, that there are as well. But, you know, you're going to have to do your, do, do your homework and look into that. So I think that could be quite useful. But it's a bit situational. It's a shame it's not all skills. Um, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd rather this be a legendary and be all skills. Um, but sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Iron Will. Decrease the damage this champion receives from enemy skills. Oh, sorry. Uh, decreases the damage this champion receives from enemy skills activated by other skills or enemies inflicting damage when it's not their turn. So I think this is a bit like... Um, so I need to read that again. Wait. Decreases the damage this champion receives from enemies' skills activated by other skills or enemies inflicting damage when it's not their turn. I don't quite understand that, but... I feel like it's a bit like a reaction gear. It's just going to sort of reduce damage that the enemy do to us. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to see how that one works because I don't quite understand it, to be to be honest with you. Let's, let's not bullshit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so Cruelty. Um, so these are the dark one, dark epics. So whenever this champion hits an enemy, decreases their defense until the end of the return, sorry, end of the round, only occurs once per turn if multiple champions have this blessing still cannot decrease a single target's defense more than 40 percent or decrease a boss's defense by 20 percent so this is quite an interesting one i feel like it's going to stack on top of decreased defense so you could throw this out so this would be great like on madame anyone's thrown out decreased defense so you're going to decrease their defense and then you're going to add more decreased defense as well and, you know, you're going to have Savage. They're basically going to be naked and you should just absolutely slam when you hit them. So, yeah, Madame, I imagine this is going to be like for her, like I said, any debuffers that do uh, decrease defense or weaken, this is going to be amazing. So, yeah, I think this is going to be like another S tier blessing. Uh, lethal Dose. Saw this one the other day, quite excited about this. So, this is another one like the HP Wern, except it's going to be for... Um, poison um, so yeah more so basically increases damage received from poison debuffs placed by this champion in the arena will ignore 35% of the targets resistance when placing poison debuffs so um, ch uh, <laughs> um so I imagine Kavalax and Chorug um Chad you know that new lizard guy um I imagine that this is going to be like essential on them um I don't know if there's gonna be other more poison champions that might leak into the mail like dark kale uh, might be a good one but yeah so really looking forward to this this should be really cool and once again they are trying to shake up the meta a bit and make things more interesting so this is really exciting like i am pumped for this so i hope this is getting you guys uh you know i hope you guys are sort of feeling it and yeah see what happens and let's just do the rare ones imagine the rare ones aren't going to be that great but we'll have a quick look um so this one is very similar to that um that mastery um, in the defensive tree basically this champion will receive less damage when under stuns freeze sleeps fears true fears petrification debuff so this could be really useful for revivers and healers in arena or even in pve as well um survival instinct partially fills this champion's turn meter whenever a debuff is placed or spread or transferred onto them and um, so again this can be like a useful one for helping people cut in but it's only a rare one so I don't think it's going to be that useful, but I'm sure people will find places in the meta for this as well. So that will be interesting. Okay, Fortless Defense. This champion will receive less damage for each subsequent hit, uh, sorry, hit from multi-hit skills. The damage reduced increase will be for every additional hit. Um, yeah, I just don't feel this one's going to be that useful, to be honest. Yeah, just just 
very average to trash average to trash hero soul um, increases the damage inflicted to bosses and their minions according to the number of living enemies right increases damage okay so this will be great for hydra and and probably doom tower waves would be really useful and helping you clear waves as well so kind of a useful one but like not not amazing but not bad either miracle hill has a chance of restoring a portion of any destroyed hp just trash just useless um there's no like destroyed hp is just not used in the game don't just don't even look at it that is just ridiculous there's even yeah just a waste okay um this one has a chance of placing any so has a chance of blocking any stun sleep or fear debuffs when placing on this champion that's a really cool one that is really useful um but obviously if your champion's in stone skin don't don't bother with this because otherwise it's going to be complete waste um but could be very useful on some champions um okay and obviously anyone in, in high resistance gear as well would not recommend it so phantom touch has a chance of placing um inflicting bonus damage to one enemy whenever this champion hits enemy targets when hitting multiple targets at once, only one champion will receive the bonus damage for turn cooldown. The bonus damage is proportional to this champion's attack. Yeah, I just think I think that'll be okay. I think that's gonna be sort of for people. Um, it's gonna help definitely help people early game, mid game in um, PVE. So it's gonna help you farm, um, you know, um, the dungeons a lot faster. But it's gonna be great for arena as well. But sort of very early game. And to be fair. People aren't going to be using rare champions in higher end uh, arena, but it's still going to be like useful for people early on. Dark Resolve has a chance of blocking Freeze, Provoke, and True Fear. Okay, so I definitely would choose um, <laughs> Indomitable Spirit over Dark Resolve. Um, Stun and Sleep and Fear are going to be a lot more common than Freeze, Provoke, and True Fear in the arena. Oh, it's difficult actually. They're kind of all used, um, but I would I would prefer like stun, sleep, and fear. Okay, it's not true fear though, but stun is just like really annoying and the most powerful CC. Actually, the, actually, it's, it is a toss up between the two of them. It just depends at the time what's more in the meta, like what's being used more: freezes, provokes, and true fear. Um, I guess it counts as Tormum and uh, Mashal and stuff like that. So yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, um, yeah. So like I said, I'm really I don't know how you guys feel about um, blessings. Please let me know. You know, put a comment below and say like, "Oh, real deal. I'm not feeling it. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they're ruining raid. Or do you think this is actually going to be really positive? And um, personally, I do think this is going to be great for the game. And I really hope that it does like improve the arena. So yeah, actually, I'm really excited for this and pumped. I am pumped for this. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something new, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.